Didn't I see that same cat yesterday? Hey Zoe, what's up? You look a little pale. You're not gonna believe this. I was attacked. Again. What? Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, just... just a bit shaken. Was it the eye? No. I was in Reza's apartment, looking for his notebook when these two girls showed up. They looked like they were twins. I really thought they were going to kill me. One of them slammed me up against the wall, knocked the breath out of me, and... Then they left. Both of them. Without saying a word. It looked like they received a message. What were they looking for? Did they take anything? No. They didn't even take the notebook. I dropped it on the floor. They must not have noticed it. I think I got really lucky. Then I came straight here. I need your help with the notes. And the notepad, do you still have it? Give it to me, sweetie, and I'll see what I can do. Here's Reza's notepad. Okay. Just a sec, and I'll let you know what we're dealing with. Okay, sweetie. I need time to equip this thing. It's got some heavy locks on it. Except for the final entry. For some reason, that's only got basic encryption. Which Reza knows I'd be able to quickly crack. Of course! He wants us to read it. It says Venice Newport, The Fringe, Charlie. That's it. Newport. That's in North America, the West Coast. I wonder what The Fringe is. Maybe he's meeting this Charlie guy at a restaurant. I have to go to Newport. I don't know, sweetie. Maybe you should just give the information to Reza's editor. Let the hand that bites handle it. I can't do that. This is Reza we're talking about. He's in trouble. I can't just sit here and wait for him to come back. What if he needs my help? You're right. I mean, he's my friend too, and I want to help him. I just don't know if going to Newport is the way to do that. What else can I do? It's the only clue I have. Venice, Newport, the Fringe. That's probably where Reza's gone, to see this Charlie person. I'll work on decrypting the rest of Reza's notes. We need to figure out what he was working on. It could take a while, so I'll just close up the store. Are you sure? My regulars know how to get in touch. I'll call you as soon as I got something. Great. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. Take care, okay, sweetie? I want you back in one piece. I'll need to go home and get my backpack before I leave for Newport. Zoe. Hey, you're as good as new. How do you feel? I feel the same as always. Why? No reason. It's good to have you back. 
Thank you, Zoe. I smell the enemy. They are close. Okay, Naane, you divert their attention when they get close enough. Bryn, stay behind Chowan. I'm April. April Ryan. Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. She sounds like a swell person. I'm in my undies. That's so not appropriate. I can handle... I don't care if you wield your sword like an Eganon blade dancer. We're not at home. We don't have the advantage. Follow my lead, Bryn. Your blade will taste blood today. Worry not. Let the smoke clear before you attack. The toxins lose their effect quickly, but you should still not breathe them. Got it. Hey, Juan. What do they smell like, the enemy? Hush. Hold on. What is it? Frozen water. I haven't seen this before. You'll tire of it soon enough, Bayad. It's almost like... like walking on clouds. Would you believe that some Eastlanders strap metal bars to their feet to make them glide on the ice? It looks ridiculous. Shh. Did you hear something? Rebels! Now! The cowards are using magic for the six! Go back to the hell and kill them. are coming farther and farther north. We kill ten, another twenty appear. So we kill them too. They're not invincible. That's not the way to stop them, Bryn. We need a better plan. Our sources in the city may have information. I hope so. But we need to focus on getting the supplies and bringing them back to the swamplands. Everything else is secondary. They are all depending on us. If another moon passes, the children will be at risk. If they should fall ill... Naane is right. We go back as soon as we have what we came for. And we do not engage the enemy within scouting distance of the city. We'll be cautious, Juan. Now we continue, another few days due south, and we'll see her. Mercuria. I can't wait to see the city. If it's anything like you've described, April, it must be amazing. It's been a long time. Things change. Come on, let's move out.
There's a door up there. A mysterious door. Yeah? Hello, is Charlie there, please? Who is this? My name's Zoe. I'm a friend of Reza. I'm looking for him. I think he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Reza. Sorry. Goodbye. Wait. He's a reporter. Goes by the name Jericho. All right. Come on in. Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for Charlie. He's down there past the bar. Thank you. Whatever. That must be Charlie. We're your friends. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can help. April, nice to see you, girl. Don't you worry, I'm here. I'll take good care of you. Excuse me, are you Charlie? Yeah, Zoe, right? You said you're a friend of Jericho's? That's right. Has he been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track him down? Can't you just call him? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look, Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. All right. I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions. I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. Listen, I know Jericho. He'd ask you to keep things quiet and he wouldn't want to make life difficult for you. But something has happened, something big, and I really do need to find him. If there's anything you can tell me, anything at all, I don't know where else to go. Please. <sighs> okay, yeah. He came by last night. We talked a few days ago, but Jericho, he wanted to meet up. He said that some conversations shouldn't cross the wire. He wanted to ask me some questions about a place I used to live in ten years ago. The Border House. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady, Fiona. That's where Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now. The Victory Hotel. Shady place. Jericho wanted to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans, the works. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask, but my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for... I don't know, and I don't want to know. Like I said, there are stories. What kind of stories? Look, I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party, I could lose a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong. I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The Border House. Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told them there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water, you can use the canals to get around. There might be a way into the building from the back. And Jericho, he went there last night? I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. Okay, well, I guess that's a start. Victory Hotel. Where is the Victory Hotel? It's on a street called The Brink. Walk to the other side of the crossroads, past the Chinaman's store, you'll get to a bridge called the Rialto. Cross the Rialto to get to Marco Polo. Marco Polo will take you to The Brink. Victory Hotel's on the end of The Brink. Big gray building, wooden door, bench out front. I think there's some scaffolding still left from the construction work. 
That might help you get down into the canals, but I haven't been around there in a while. Do you own this place? Nah, I just run it. I used to own it, though. Bought it cheaply right after the collapse, hoping business would pick up again. It never did. I managed to sell it eventually, and the new owners hired me back to manage it. With the new capital, we turned the business around. We're one of the hottest places to go in Newport right now. We get VIPs from around the world. They scram in, party, leave the next morning. Funny thing is, ten years ago, this was a popular student hangout, the Fringe Cafe. I worked here as a bartender. This neighborhood, Venice, it was a great place to live. We used to think it was the center of the world. And it was, for a while. Different world, different times. The collapse changed a lot of things. Hell, it changed everything. Have you lived in Venice all your life? Feels like that sometimes, but no. I came here for school when I was 19. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts.